Hey guys, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I've got the Mavic Mini today. Uh, hey, I was out doing some other flying and I had another uh, battery that is at about 90% capacity. So I thought, you know, why would I leave without uh, doing a little flying when I got some juice at a battery? So uh, I think I'm just going to take the Mini up. I'm going to mess around with the quick shots. And, and I know people have talked about trying to get it to follow you when it's in some of those uh, quick shot modes like the circle mode and stuff. So I just want to mess around with that a little bit and uh, and see what can be done uh, and see how well uh, we can make it work. I haven't had a lot of success with it in the past, but I got some batteries, so let's just mess around and give it a shot. Okay, let's do a, uh, a hand takeoff while we're at it. Hold it kind of uh, up and away. And hold down that takeoff circle. Take off. The home point has been updated. And it'll just Please take off right on out of your hand. Okay, so I'm just going to set the camera up here where it'll look at me, but I'm going to actually walk out into the field. Yeah, I said gimbal motor overloaded, so I'm sure I was holding it at an angle. I don't know why it's still telling me that. Gimbal seems to be working correctly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that gimbal motor overloaded warning. I don't see any obstructions. And it seems to be working fine. So let's just go out here a ways and, uh, and let's just try it out. So what we'll do is I want to make sure we got plenty of clearance here. And I'm going to put it into a uh, circle mode. And uh, I'm going to walk around and see if it'll actually follow us. Yeah, we lost that gimbal overloaded. So that could have been, you know, I was holding it in my hand and... I might have been touching the gimbal or uh, possibly I was holding it at a, at a bigger angle than what the gimbal could, uh, could, could deal with. Let's move around here so that we're not, uh, you can see me, we're not facing into the sun. Okie dokie, so uh, you have to turn off recording. So let's turn off recording here real quick. And we'll go into the quick shots and we are going to pick a circle and uh, yeah I guess that's about all we need to do so I'm gonna I, we've got it pretty close to me we've got it uh, you know I don't know how far away it is from me not very far I can tell you that uh, I'm gonna say maybe three, four meters at the most. So I'm gonna hit plus, it selects me. I'm gonna hit uh, uh, clockwise and start. Three, and it's two, gonna count down. One. And there it goes. So I'm gonna walk fairly slowly and see if it will still track me. Now it's kind of keeping its same circle. See, it's getting further away from me. Yeah, so it lost me. So, I mean, that's difficult. It just doesn't seem to be able to do that uh, very well. Let's try it one more time just for the fun of it. Let's go, let's go the other way this time. Three, It'll give us a countdown. Two, one. See if I can walk towards it. Yeah, it, and it's not moving back. Now you would think that it would move back. And it's not. Yeah, it's keeping its same it's same circle. So just for the fun of it, let's just do that standing still. Three, two, one. So when it uses you for the center, it's you're just the, the center. And 
you can move and it's not going to change its uh, its center it did before and i think we kind of confused the drone and, and and that's the other thing that i noticed is it's just doing one full rotation as i recall before the update i think it would have done multiple rotations anyway i could be wrong let's do the helix Try the same thing. Let's give it that uh, 40 meter. Yeah, I may not be far enough away. I'm going to do it 30 meter. Hit the plus, and let's do a, uh, Three, a helix. Two, so one. it centers me. And it's fun to watch it immediately start to rise. So what I'm going to tell you about the quick shots is that uh, the closer you start, the better they're going to work. And the better job it's going to do at keeping you in the center of the frame. Yeah, it finally lost me at the very end there. Uh, but it completes its helix and then stops. And it should return to its starting spot. And it is. It says it even says returning on here. I've done videos, a, a ton of videos on on the quick shots before, but it's always good to revisit them and uh, and just see you know if they've changed anything. So uh, heck, we're, as long as we're here, we might as well uh, let's get it on the other side of us. Well, I definitely overshot myself there. So I've got it pretty close to me, and we are going to do a, uh, a drony. And let's click up the max 40 meters. We got room for it. And select myself. And it can see me even with direct looking directly into the sun. Three, two, one. And I had it probably two and a half meters away from me there. And it did okay. So now it'll return. You know, the mistake I made there is I had it shooting into the sun. So I've moved further out here and we'll turn it around and we'll, that's a little bit much. And uh, let's bring it in. Like I said, the best success you're gonna have with these is when it's closer. So I'm gonna uh, highlight myself again and this time it'll do it with the uh with the sun at its back and we're kind of going into those two, buildings there so one. i'm gonna have to pay attention and make sure we don't back it into something hopefully it rises uh quick enough that it doesn't uh go into any of those trees or those buildings and it sure looks like it is so yeah nothing to worry about there and that looks a lot better uh with the sun at the back there and now it'll return to where it started. Okie dokie. So we've done uh, everything but the rocket now. So it's time to do a rocket. Let's, uh, let's set it at the max 40 meters on the rocket as well. So I assume that means it's going to go... 40 meters straight up, but uh, we'll take a look here. Three. Giving it the countdown. Two, Three, two, one. one. 
and it immediately begins to raise and points the gimbal down. And you can see that I still, I, I took my phone off of uh, airplane mode there. Yeah, so it went exactly 40 meters high. And it raises the gimbal back up. That is uh, that is nothing but cool. Okay, let's uh, let's do a circle again, and let's see if it'll follow me uh, back to where the camera is. Three, two, one. So it's kind of following me now. Yeah, so it reached the end of its uh, circle. So that time, it did kind of follow me around a little bit. Unless I'm wrong, unless that was its, that may have just been its uh, regular circumference. I think what I need to do is, uh, is walk backwards this time and, and watch it. So I'm gonna do this one more time. Three, two, one. So it's starting. And I know about what its circumference should be. No, it is kind of following me a little bit. But it's staying on its circumference. Yeah, so it stayed on the circumference that it started at. But what it did was it kept the camera on me. So that's kind of interesting to know. So let's get out of that. We're going to go back into video, start video. And let's bring the drone back towards us. Got the drone in my back, see if I can avoid flying into myself. That'd be embarrassing, huh? Fly the drone into my back. Good old FPV. Okay, we are down to 40% battery. Let's bring this baby on in. Make sure we're still recording on the Canon, we are. So I'm gonna turn it around so it's facing away from me and I can get under those back sensors. I'm gonna raise it up just a little and uh, I'm gonna see if I can land it. Landing. So I probably had my back to the camera there and you didn't see that. I should have done it from the side. Uh, but it works really well. So I'm going to say I've done it from the front. Uh, and it's still recording here. So we'll see if we can get it up here where it sees me. So I've done that hand landing from the front of the drone and from the back of the drone. Last time I did it from the front of the drone, I didn't have, it wasn't quite underneath those sensors, so it didn't know to shut the motors off, uh, even though I was holding the stick all the way down. So I stuck my fingers kind of under them and then it shut them off. But this time I came at it from the back and it shuts the motors right down as soon as it hits your hand. So uh, that's the way to do it. I would uh, approach the drone from the back and that's the easiest way to do a hand landing. So uh, anyway, uh, that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, 
please consider subscribing to my channel. But most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video, and we will see you on the next one. Mavic Mini, just a fun little drone to mess around with.